Cheers again, legends. Sammy from Short and Stout Beer Reviews. We've got Grouse Southern Fishing IPA, a collab between Hop Nation and Mountain Culture, and a bit of a piss take on the last beer I just reviewed. <laughs> Great Northern. Grouse Southern. Same colours, little fishy on there. I thought that's brilliant. That's cool. So yeah, it's sort of a bit of a craft, a bit of a craft fu to the uh, macro industry, I think. And on the back it says, "Hop Nation and Mountain Culture bring you Grouse Southern, the world's first fishing IPA, a cross-border collaboration to create a beer for any activity that requires ultimate refreshment." More flavour than water and more excitement than catching a fish. <laughs> That's awesome. When I seen him advertise this, I thought that is brilliant. Yeah, so Hop Nation out of Footscray in Melbourne and Mountain Culture out of Blue Mountains in, uh, yeah, New South Wales. So these two have done a couple of beers together. They've uh, worked at quite a few festivals together and get on pretty well. And, yeah, it's good to see stuff like this, little in-jokes and that in the craft industry. I like when you see brewers getting on well together and helping each other out. It's cool. So, yeah, I've already poured this one in the glass. So it's, it's known as a hazy IPA, but let's be honest, it's probably more a pale at 5%. You'd say a, I'd say a light body, it's sort of between straw and orange. So yeah, about a one finger head, cloudy, not super in your face hazy. Yeah, let's give it a whiff. Hmm. Actually packs a punch with aroma, which is good. I'm not surprised, though. Two great breweries. So on the nose, I'm getting pineapple and passion fruit. Even a touch of, like, berry. Maybe a little bit grassy. It smells like it's quite sweet. Hmm, smells good. Smells very tropical. So, cheers. I'm going in. Definitely pineapple and passion fruit. Might be a touch of white grape there as well. You're getting like a sort of like a white or a green berry vibe. Now I'm sort of get like a like it's grassy. It's actually a little bit dank as well. For five percent, it drinks like like flavour wise, it actually drinks like an like it says a five percent like fishing IPA. 5% is generally a pale, but it's got that much hop character in it and, like, some malty sweetness. Like, it, it drinks higher in ABV than what it is sort of thing. Like, if you get what I mean. It's got a very soft and pillowy mouthfeel. I'd definitely say, I'd probably say light to medium body. Leaning more light, though. High-end light, lower-medium sort of thing. The tropical light character is really good in it, like really nice. It's definitely low in bitterness. 
You're just getting a touch of like that grassiness, even maybe a touch of pine. But yeah, there's some dankness there. It's quite a nice beer. Unfortunately, I've only got one can of this one, so I'll have to get some more. It's definitely got shades of um, status quo by mountain culture. It's definitely got some similar attributes to that. It's going down very well. Yeah, that real pillowy mouth feel, light body. I just can't get over the what the flavour pack. Yeah, like definitely drinks like like the hop characteristics. It drinks like an IPA. Like it's full of flavour for something that's light and ABV. So yeah, they've done a really good job. I'm trying to think of a hop nation beer that would be similar to this because I like I know they do like Jedi juice or whatever it is. It's called something different now. But I can't really remember if they tasted like this. It definitely reminds me of status quo anyway. If anyone out there has had mountain culture's status quo, very similar to that. But, yeah, love the whole cheeky concept. I thought that was brilliant. And that's why I thought it would be funny as to do this for Macro Monday and then this afterwards. Just a very cheeky piss take. A, re a refreshing beer that tastes a bit better than water, <laughs> revolving around the fishing concept. And it's even got, like, you'd nearly say that's like Queensland sort of state of origin colours or the Broncos. So, yeah. So it was 5% this one. Only in the small can. I'm not sure of the price point with it because I bought it like amongst a heap of mixed beers. Cheers, Dan. Good to see you, brother. I'm going well, mate. I've been in Melbourne on the weekend and visited a couple of breweries and bars down there and had a really good smash burger. Now I'm back home, back working, working mornings this week so I can come home and have a beer or two in the afternoon if I want. And because I've got a heap of beers in the fridge, I thought I'd better review a couple tonight. I've got more coming tomorrow, I think. Well, I'm currently waiting on about three shipments. They're taking, a lot of them seem to be taking a long time. Don't know what's going on. <laughs> Love it. I'm very patriotic. So, yeah, score-wise for this one, I really enjoy it. I just can't believe it's only 5%. The mouth feels divine. The more I drink it, I'm going to say it's more medium. Medium mouthfeel, low end. Yeah, you're getting like pineapple, passion fruit. Um, I'm going to say lemon and lime as well. And, yeah, like a sort of like a sweet berry. And, yeah, you're getting that sort of white grape, like Nelson Sorbonne-like feature. There's a little bit of pine there, but not too much. If it had more pine, I'd love it, like, even more. But, yeah, definitely drinks like status quo. So there's a lot of people out there that love status quo. It's like as far as craft beer goes in Australia, it's one of the popular ones. 
So, yeah, if you like that, you'll definitely like this. It's probably just doesn't have as much bitterness. It's probably a little softer. And, um, yeah, I reckon status quo has a bit more pine than what this one has. But, yeah, I reckon I'd go... I'm going to say 4.25 out of 5. I think for what it is, it's really good. And I will be trying to track down more. Hopefully the Mountain Culture team gets some at their brewery and next order I do through them, I can get some of this. That would be good. That's generally what happens. I know I'm pretty sure the... The main brewer on this one, though, was Hop Nation, just the fact that their name's up the top and a bit bigger. Yeah. So, yeah, 4.25. Lovely beer and very funny concept, taking the piss out of the uh, Great Northern, the big macro beer. So, yeah, cheers, peeps. Another review done and dusted. And uh, yeah, I'll probably I'll probably have quite a few this week. Maybe maybe one or two each day because I'm on mornings, so I've got plenty of beers in the fridge. So yeah, cheers for chiming in. And if you watch this later on, get a bit of mountain culture in you. <laughs> cheers, peeps.